Hello everyone, I am Bradley Sward, and this is the official trailer for a video series that I'm pretty proud of, that I've been working on for a little over a week now at least. Uh, it's going to be a trick-taking card game that we're going to make with Game Maker Studio 2.3.7. I'm going to be calling the game Columbus, and maybe you'll figure out why, and it has really nothing to do with the soccer theme that, I gave the, that I've given uh, the game or anything to do with the town in Ohio as well but uh, but that's for another time and so let's take a look at what you're going to be doing in my four and a half hour video series for making this trick-taking card game so in part one I will be showing you guys how to make a splash screen like this where you have a fade in and fade out effect in part two, we will be going through setting up a basic main menu. And in part three, we will make this intricate main menu where you can set up multiple players and you could set up, you could either use the keyboard or you can use the controller for the, uh, for the players of the game. You can actually use controllers for all four players if you have four controllers available to you. And so uh, that's parts two and three. So part four will be getting the graphics going because we have a lot of little graphics to set up here. Uh, part five, I will be showing you the rules of this card game. And some of you already have played. If you played a, a, a trick-taking card game, you, you know the majority of what we're going to be trying here. But if you haven't, that's fine because I'm kind of new to these kind of card games as well. And so let me, hold on, let me give me a second here. You'll, it's going to go black for you guys for a couple seconds here while I go full screen. There we go. So that's oops, the second I touch anything at all. There we go. Okay, is it back? Okay, it's back. So uh, every time I move something. Okay, hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. So parts four and five are just getting some graphics, some basic graphics set up, and game uh, level. Or part five is showing you how to how to play the actual game. Uh, part six, we will actually show you how to deal the cards out. Uh, part seven is how I'll show you can actually see the ca the hands of the you know, the players have, and actually have a default here where I can show everybody at the same time. Uh, let's see, part eight where you can we're going to deal the goal cards because the point of the game is to get the card these specific cards into the players' hands by winning tricks. Uh, playing uh, level or level nine, I keep saying level. Part nine is playing a round of the game where I go okay seven. I'm going to play the red seven. And I can play the green two here, but I have to play one of these cards. I'll play the red nine, and then I'll play the red eight, and then the winner of this is player four, and so forth. And oh no, I blew it! <laughs> I lost the game. Um, but that's part of it too. That's the losing condition. That's part twelve. Uh, part eleven is the winning condition. Uh, when when everybody gets a gold card, you win the game. Uh, let's see what else is there. Play, uh, 9 and 10 are playing the a full round of the game because it does take quite a bit, a little over an hour of our time. And then with all of that said, with all of that put together, maybe you can hear the sound effects in the background. Uh, maybe you can't. I don't know how loud it is actually until I go to watch the video myself. But uh, part 13, we will add very basic music and sound effects to our game and do some final touch-ups. And at the end of it, I've tested this game out quite a bit, but I still don't know how perfect it is. So as we go through things, it would be great to hear from you guys about uh, the inspiration maybe, hopefully, that I've given you guys to make your own card games. And then for those of you tagging along on this, telling me what kind of bugs you see or what kind of bugs pop up when you guys are working through and making your own versions of this game. So that's the excitement that I hope to bring with you guys for the next four and a half hours over the next couple the next couple months of time here making this card game and I hope to see you guys there have a great day and we'll see you in the next video